So here today I have an upgrade to this bank. I added about a few more new capacitors. The um, old ones are, you might be able to read them, but they are 450 volt capacitors as the new ones are 325. So that means my maximum is now 325 volts. But with the amount of capacitors I added, it should be roughly double the amount of joules to give me about two times the amount of power from the last video. This one is kind of questionable. The uh, bus bar with the copper at least is good because that's 16 inch thick copper. The aluminum though, especially in this part right here, I would be a little bit more afraid of it blowing up during the higher levels and shorting it out to something like uh, this flat out shorting it. So I'm gonna do a few low power test runs first, see what happens. Discharging in three, two, one. Discharging in three, two, one. Two kilojoules in three, two, one. Discharging that capacitor that failed last time, that little small one from Pizma. He said it's trolling me, so here goes two kilojoules. If it fails, I'm going to discharge the bank. So discharging in three, two, one. And it failed. Discharging the bank in three, two, one. Discharging two kilojoules to bond that I can't reach right now because the wire's not on there. Discharging two kilojoules to a plastic container with aluminum strip in it. Otherwise known as a bomb. Discharging in three, two, one, uh, boom. Discharging bait, three, two, one. Now does that right? Just the bottom blew off where the hot glue was inside of this canister, otherwise known as a bombette canister. I've used these in my previous videos. A 16 volt, uh, 15,000 microfarad capacitor. As soon as I can figure out what my stick is. Discharging in 3, 2, 1. Wait, 3, 2, 1. This is the capacitor I tried to blow up, but instead it just blew up the leads on top and made them a lot shorter. So that failed. Pencil light in three, two, one. Five ohm, four watt resistor. It should go off with a big bang. Three, two, one. Or be very pathetic. Discharging bang. Discharging two strip of aluminum, aluminum tape in three, two, one. Discharging bank. This is the result of aluminum duct uh, tape. It really kind of burnt that up rather well. Back side of it, just a few scorch marks because that's just wax paper. So yeah. Discharging to 15 inches of steel wire. Last time I did this on the other bank, it did not work, but this is a lot more powerful. In three, two, one. Got glowing wire. I came very close. Discharging to three inches of steel wire. I'm going to try to chuck it into the garage door, not me. In three, two, one. Yep. Discharging the little one inch strip of it. Discharging the bank. Discharging to ten uh, cover. Let's see if I can poke a hole through it twice the power. In three, two, one. Here's the 10 cover, and there's my mark compared to the old mark. Same in the back. So 
discharging full bait to a soda can with a scrape on the side in 3, 2, 1. Miss. 3, 2, 1. Discharge bait. Here is the soda can. Aluminum dust pouring out of it like crazy. The uh, lid literally exploded outwards. It was on the inside of it, obviously, because I'm not that talented. So that's what happens when you discharge two kilojoules to a soda can. I could only imagine that that was your finger. So thanks for watching. Should probably have more come over time. Not sure about a bigger bank for a while, but we'll see.